All right, hello everybody. We're going to do, I think, our fifth live typing session on YouTube, and that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Now, just to let everybody know, I am, I did start a Patreon last night, so if you do want to donate to support my efforts, and we will be offering exclusive content very, very soon. Uh, this can include any sort of a, I don't know, type explanation, perhaps we go in depth and stuff. Um, I think that would be appropriate to offer on there. Also, another thing I would like to offer definitely is I do want to start reading online stories such as like Creepypasta or just any sort of short story, horror story, you name it. And what I would like to do is have other people play different roles in this. So this is going to be exclusive content uploaded to Patreon. And the people that are going to be participating in it are also going to be my Patreon members, more or less. So make sure if you do want to be involved with that because we are going to be uploading rapid fire um, just make sure to go to Patreon, do the thing, and then message me afterwards. And if you want to be a part of my story, it will be, you know, literally just $10 a month. That ain't shit. <laughs> um, and we can read something or post it. And if we do good on it, then, you know, you will reap the benefits as well. Anyway, after that plug, I just want to say, welcome, Starry. Are you there? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to get straight to this. Um... First of all, I'll just give the disclaimer publicly. Um, first of all, you know, I can only go off the answers you provide me. So anything you say to me, if it's honest or dishonest, mm -hmm. my my typing of you is only going to be indicative of that. Does that make sense? Depends how personal it is. But yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I would ra I would much rather if it's a personal question and you don't want to answer. Mm -hmm. And my questions aren't that crazy. So, I would rather yeah, you just yeah. say I prefer not to say, or maybe could you ask in a different way so you could answer it a different way. That would be totally fine. But just as don't, if I ask you what your favorite color is and it's green and you say red, then it uh -huh. fucks through your typing, you know. <laughs> that won't be a typing question, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So, and on my end as well, I have to realize that even no matter how hard I try not to, that I'm still going to associate certain things with certain characteristics that may not be... Um, you know, may not be the best and everything may not be accurate and I'm going to try not to do that as much as possible, but we all still are, can be subjected to bias. So you're aware of that as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's both try not to do this and then it should be a nice typing session. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. All right. Let's do this. So first of all, welcome Starry. Um, how old are you? 18. 18. Okay. All right. And what do you do currently in life? Um, I'm still a student last year in high school, and I'm working two jobs. Okay. Let's see. Working two jobs. Okay. So um, why don't you tell me a little bit more about said jobs? Like what i'm doing in the jobs yeah either the job description or just what you're doing in it just anything you feel important to mention um in one of the jobs i'm working as a barista and okay. and the other job i'm working as a babysitter two kids okay So, I guess, why don't you tell me, just detail to me, give me one story mm -hmm. about something that occurred in one of these jobs that stressed you out. It stressed me out. Uh, I never, I mean, I, I, I mean, I was stressed out in my barista job the first day, but that's like normal for any fast paced jobs, uh -huh. I would think. Uh... It was just because uh, we don't have, they don't uh, do, at least in this country, they don't do like professional uh, training uh, shifts or like uh, days fully dedicated to just learning. They just put me on the job right on the spot with like the customers and it was my first time doing all these things. And it was in a different language as well. <laughs> 
So it was pretty oh, stressful, wow. but I managed to, uh, I was surprisingly uh, told that I did a really good job for my first day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. That is very good. Um, do you, like, I guess as you started working there more, you know, as it got mm -hmm. less stressful and everything, what are some things that, that, that you think you do better than all the rest of your co-workers? Keep clean. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You say keep clean. Interesting. All right. Cool. So next question. Um, I think we did have a discussion once. You did say that you really like music, right? Yeah. Okay. So why don't you tell me about some of your like music preferences? First and foremost. Mm, I mean, I pretty much like any genre. I go by the simple, like, I can like anything as long as it sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The genres I usually listen to is, like, uh, rock. Yeah. Or okay. metal. Okay. That makes sense. One second... All right. And uh, what do you like about rock and metal specifically? I um, I actually just like I really like the sound of the guitar and the drums. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and when it comes to like any songs that I like. I prefer them to have meaning than just uh, brainless, mindless lyrics. Okay. Um. One second. Now, do you have any lyrics that, you, and I'll even let you research if you'd like, do you have any, like, one line of lyrics that you have memorized that you enjoy, or even you could reference and then tell me? Uh, I have one on my status. Okay. It's, uh, Angels on the Sideline, Puzzled and Amused, by Tool. Hang on. <laughs> Angels on the Sideline, and then what was the other part? Puzzled and Amused. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very ethereal. Um, what song is that from, by the way? It's from Raiden 2. If I'm not mistaken. You said ra- wait, what? Raiden 2. Raiden 2. If I heard that right. Okay, I hope I got that right, because I will listen to it after our session, but- Okay. Nice. And do you play any instruments? Uh, I used to be pretty good at the piano, but I forgot because it's been like five, six years since I've played. Yeah. Okay. Um, why don't you tell me how did you get into the typology community? Actually, I'm curious. Uh, first it was a friend of mine that got me into it. Uh, he just made me take a test. It was from the official MBTI site. Uh -huh. And I was just interested in it because all the characters had cool colors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted like, to be yellow. Alright. Okay, and I do want to make you aware that, like, the four letter terms that you will, that you do see on MBTI, what you will get from mine is going to be slightly different, but it does more or less correlate to one of those types. So there's 16 of them, there's 16 of the socionics ones, yeah. but socionic is three letters, so, and, and I will in depth explain this, like, why I believe you would be this one at the very end, and frankly, I'm, I'm having a great time talking to you, mm. so I don't think this will be a super duper short session. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, let's see. I guess what I would like to ask you is, you are talking about characters a little bit, I want to ask you, what, what are mm -hmm. some, uh... What's some, like, film and television or just fictional stories you like? It could even be books. 
Just tell me like maybe two or three ones that you've really enjoyed. Mm, I really enjoyed uh, the movie Blade Runner. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Interstellar. Masterpiece. <laughs> okay. And, and series Witcher is not bad, but I heard they fucked up the plot because it's not. You said serious Witcher? Book. Oh, no. The series. The Witcher series. Oh, which. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Okay, so these. I think. I don't know much about The Witcher, actually. So I think what I'm going to have you do is why don't you describe to mm -hmm. me just an. Don't take all day, but you can kind of give me a paragraph or maybe just two or three sentences about what what is The Witcher. I'm curious. I'll try to type uh, everything you say. Let me just put this in. Simple. Uh, introverted white-haired guy going around the country slaying monsters. That's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. Let's see. One second. All right, wonderful. Um, let's see. Okay. Awesome. And then why don't you tell me Either which which one would you say you like more, Interstellar or Blade Runner? Interstellar. Okay. And why don't you tell me why you like Interstellar so much? Hmm. Um, I've always had a fascination about space, mm -hmm. and uh, the characters, uh, specifically the main one. Yeah. Was pretty interesting. Uh, I relate to him in some aspects. Uh, I'm I really like the planets that they came up with. Okay. Maybe. Hold on one second. That's fine. All right, what I'd like to ask you next is, um, I guess when it, in regards to like your hobbies, what do you like mm -hmm. to do exactly? Uh, I, like I would to... rather you honestly, even if it is just stuff that really do, you don't do that much, but you still enjoy. Mm -hmm. You, like, if you have a list of, like, 12 different things, uh, that would be better than a list of, like, three things, if that makes sense. Mm. But if you don't have that yeah. many and, and you only have three, then just do that rather than try to make I up mean, stuff you don't actually do. <laughs> do I have a limit? Because I think no, I pretty that's much what, do. That is exactly <laughs> the point I was trying to convey to you, Starry, is that um, you have no limit. I encourage you to just go on and on and on with this. Alright. Uh, um... I like to first one is wood carving. Okay. Uh, second, I like to paint. Uh, third, I like playing sports, like any sports, physical activity. Uh, and if I can only remember, <laughs> <laughs> I like cooking. Okay. And fishing. Mm -hmm. I also like archery. Okay. Uh, God, what else? Oh, yeah, I, I like playing games. Okay. Preferably <laughs> FPS. F games and or FPS. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, we it's, definitely need to play a, some time, too. I know we talked about that at one point. Oh, yeah. Paid yeah. um, it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can keep going if you want. Uh, crafting things. Like, you could just give me a stick and a rock, and I'll just make something out of it. Okay. 
uh, swimming. That can just go with the physical activity, actually. Okay. Uh, and just researching things online, reading uh, books about philosophy. Uh, that's. That's all I can remember for now, really. I do too many things, I can't keep track of them. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> um... Note something... Um... A second... Okay, so what I want you to do is with all the ones you listed, and I can list them back again if you would like. Um, why don't you? Om I want you to only pick two of those to keep, and then you have to pretend that the rest of them you can never do again, such as you could never fish again if you didn't pick that one. You could never read a book about philosophy, but uh, you can just choose yeah. two of these, and then I'd want you to pick these. Tell me what they are, and then tell me why you pick these over the rest. Um, and I can read them again if you just want a full list. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> well, there's AI art nowadays, so I guess I'll let that one go. Okay. Uh, I'll keep sports mm -hmm. and I'll keep philosophy. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Uh, all right, all right. Interesting. This is leaning in a weird direction, but I am liking this direction. All right. Um. So, what do you like about sports and philosophy exactly? Like, what are these to you? Uh, I like sports because it keeps. The body moving like i i would feel like shit if i was just like staying in one place for too long and you like get out there yeah. yeah uh philosophy it really taught me a lot of things and i value knowledge a lot mm -hmm. so i uh it, it gives me a more open perspective and without it i don't think i would have been more understanding or open-minded to the world around me okay now what exactly do you mean by an open perspective like what is an open perspective as opposed to a closed perspective hmm. well being open in my opinion is just uh accepting the fact that there is objectively no right or wrong because those are just uh, right or wrong is subjective and there's nothing that's true or false because that is also subjective so in a way you accept everything okay and you don't you're not extreme about things and uh, close-minded is just the opposite of that like having extreme views like this is only this only goes this way and there's no other way for this Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, so I will be transparent with you. It seems as though there's like there's like three types that I genuinely think you could be. Um, but really right now it's looking like there's about two it's between. And actually there's one it could be, but I I don't think it is, so I'm going to ask some questions that could give me some things with this, so. Yeah. Okay. All right, wonderful. Let's see. All right, cool. Um Okay. <laughs> 
Awesome. So, I was going to ask something that kind of does, is just whatever, I'm going to ask it. Um, have you, like, how, have you ever been in, like, a, like, a romantic relationship before? Yeah, I have. H how did that go, exactly? I wouldn't say I had the best experiences in the past. Experiences. Okay, so I guess what I do want to get from that, and I just so you don't mm -hmm. have to disclose that much either, is like, would you say when you say didn't have the best experiences, would you say that more or so? I guess let me just ask this: Do you think mm -hmm. you do you think in relationships you typically are very trusting, or do you feel like you're always worried that somebody's going to betray you? Like, do you have trust issues? I, in my past relationships, I've always been trusting because I believe that. Uh, and at least in, in serious relationships, that it's it should be all or nothing. And trust is one of the basics in a relationship. If you don't have that, you don't got it. Okay. Um, and that's very key to you. Seems like. Um, and would you say in relationships you are typically very affectionate? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Next up. Uh, two questions. All right. Um, what would you say you were like in conflict exactly? In conflict. Yes. Uh, give me the con like am I the one uh am I the person conflicting with someone else or am I just watching a Okay, conflict? let's say some let's say somebody does something needlessly mean to you. So uh -huh. what this means is basically let's say you're walking down the street or walking outside your house and somebody like throws something at you like a rock and says uh, you know, you look ugly. Yeah, let's say somebody literally throws a rock at you and says you look ugly. What do you do first? I mean, if they throw a physical object back at me, I'll throw it back at them. <laughs> and they called no, you ugly too. Do you call them ugly back or what? No. Uh, if they continue, I just walk away or flip them off and uh -huh. then walk away. Okay. 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 How would you feel if somebody like was in a similar situation and they did not stand up for themselves? So like let's say for instance they got the rock thrown at them and they just kind of like stood there and cried and, and allowed more rocks to be thrown at them. What would you do if you were like within this general vicinity? I would go to that person, pick up the rocks and throw it back at people if they okay. at them. Okay, one second. All right, wonderful. So yeah, now that I'm glad I'm glad I asked that because that definitely the relationship one. I thought it was gonna kill it. It did not. It actually I was like, uh oh, what if it's this other one? And now, quite uh, frankly, quite frankly, I did some detective work, and I was like, uh uh uh, <laughs> that type <laughs> would not have done that happened. ever. <laughs> anyway, so I'll I'll be transparent with you too because I, I really think this is gonna be um, not a long long session, but not a short short session either. Essentially, I have one two three four five six questions it looks like but if i do think of any more i will keep you here all day and ask you more to make sure we got your type do i make myself clear <laughs> <laughs> yes sir okay all right um what annoys you most about either people or life and why ignorance ignorance okay or arrogance uh don't I forgot what's the difference between the two. 
Wait one second. I let me. <laughs> oh lord. No, I just okay. I forgot I had the little um. Ah, what do you call it? The little general chat open. So I was just hoping nobody sent yeah. anything outlandish while I was recording because it was recording directly that. But we seem to be good. So you said you hate the thing that annoys you the most is when people are ignorant or which one? Arrogant. Arrogant. Ignorant or arrogant? Let me write that down. I don't know if those two are different or the same. Okay, hold on. Okay, ignorant means that you're kind of talking about stuff that you don't really have a nuanced opinion on or think certain things. So if somebody were to... Ignorant often is said when people are like... I don't know. If they say a, if they say a political or social stance that just seems wildly out there, they can often people call them ignorant. Just it's, it's what people say. Ignorant mm. can simply be for, for me to say, I believe the sun is the color green. And that's just not really true. So somebody could call me ignorant is just being oblivious to like commonly accepted information arrogance however is arrogance is going to be basically if somebody believes their abilities are like or i guess it expressed confidence or more likely overconfidence in one's own abilities so kind of mm. to say i can do this fuck you if you say otherwise that would be arrogance so do both of these kind of annoy you yeah okay wonderful ignorance and arrogance um Okay. That's interesting. Got that and that. And we're gonna I'm gonna look at these two types real quick. Kinda see what I'm thinking with you. Mm. So that's similar. That is oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm really starting to think you're one of these. I just gotta find out where this is with you. That Okay. Interesting. So we got that is gonna be there. That's gonna be there. This. All right. So there's really like one thing I kind of got a probe for, and that's gonna be it. Okay. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. I guess, um... What are you... Like, where do you stand on, like, spirituality or religion? Uh... I could say I stand on the middle. Okay. It's kind of... Okay. Middle... Stance... Now, would you say this is a big part of your life, and, and you care about, like, not even necessarily, like, a religion, like, saying, I am a Christian, or I am, like, this. Um, mm -hmm. More so, like, I guess, just, like, do you, because you were talking about philosophy earlier. I guess the way in which a lot of people describe it nowadays is being, like, spiritual or spirituality. Like, would you say you're very spiritual? Uh, we're kind of spiritual. Like, I collect rocks and say that they give me luck or something. That could be that could play into it, yes. No. You don't do that. No. Okay, so I just mm -hmm. yeah. I just give the benefit of the doubt. You said benefit of the doubt? Yeah, I don't know how it goes, but something like that. Okay. Benefit of the doubt. I guess that makes sense. Huh. Okay. Interesting. One second. Do, 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 do. Okay. Actually, do this one. I'll just ask you kind of a quick question. Um, do you like to read? I do. You do? Okay. Yeah. Um... Let me write that down. Do you like to read? Okay. Alright, awesome. 
So I think I did add some more questions. Actually, you're you're a tricky case, honestly. Um, uh huh. Oh boy. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I'll do this one. All right. I'm going to I think I think this is going to be it in regards to questions like I'm just gonna if I have any more then oh the fuck well well actually no I lied if I have more and I want to find out your thing I will do it but these these ones should like legitimately <laughs> confirm it <laughs> she um, said you do like to read I'll go ahead and do that you know what's funny too is the type that I think are these both types that I think you are and I don't want to like, or actually, I'm not gonna do this because I don't want spoiler alert and have you because I don't know how much you know. I don't want you backwards doing it. So yeah, but uh, it's interesting. I like I got the, I'll explain something after it's done that I think will, you'll find kind of interesting. Um, uh, okay, when making decisions, do you more do you more so consider negative outcomes and try to circumvent them, or do you tend to simply try things out and explore? I know what to say. Fuck around till you find out. I like to do a bit of both. Like, uh, uh, I, I both, like, I look at all the negative outcomes and try to avoid it. But I also, like, focus on, uh, what can work and just try it out. Okay. Uh, I'm an experimentalist. See what would work and try it out. Hmm. Is it important for you to be comfortable in life? This can either be physically, like you know, that you're—I don't know—wherever you like to sit in your house is comfortable to sit in, or it can mean that just that you feel at peace within your mind like is this like a really really large importance for you to be comfortable yes or no uh if in a survival situation no but like generally it's preferable so yeah i'm sorry can you say that one more time no oh. uh generally yeah it's preferable but i of course know that comfort life does not really give that like anytime so I accept my circumstances. Okay. Awesome. I'm really, yeah, I really like where this is going. It's all coming together now. Let me actually fix this real quick. Um. Do you have like a like a five year plan, so to speak? Like, do, what is your plan from like now to the future? Hmm. Uh, my plan is to first of all, with my job, save up for college, get an education, get a degree, and uh, get a job. I'm learning computer science, so I'll do something in tech, make my own AI, maybe and uh, programs and profit off of it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, this is tricky. All right. Let me look up something real quick, if you don't mind. No problem. <laughs> this is definitely the hardest one I've done, but it's because I'm trying to be super duper accurate, because this is the first type time I would have typed either of these, and I'm very excited because these types are cool. No. Okay, let's see. Okay, awesome. So 
So let's see, so that would be that versus... Okay. Would you say that in regards to your immediate surroundings, you're often very aware of what's around you? Like, the, like I guess, kind of physical surroundings? Mm -hmm. Or do you say you often feel kind of rather more detached or, like, lost in the clouds, daydreaming, if you will? I am pretty aware of my surroundings. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> wow. I think you'll be happy with what I'm gonna find you to be then. Maybe it's it's a theory. <laughs> we'll we'll see. <laughs> these you know these these are awesome because that's pretty much the last like legitimate for real question. These are just kind of like fun ones, and if they have anything to do with it or or eliminate a type, then we'll see. But do you, what is your favorite animal and why? Oh man. Uh. Oh no, that's a hard one. I gotta think. Uh. Favorite animal. Mm. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I kind of. I kind of switch my favorite animals every now and then. Uh, I guess the one that I've always liked was... The fox. Okay. Let's see... I actually did think of one more, like, legitimate question. If you want. It's, uh... Do you, do you value, when people are like trying to solve a problem, do you, do you value more so when people try to like fix it? Do you, I guess, do you like when people try to fix pop problems through creativity? And also just, do you like more abstract and creative things in general, as opposed to more rigid and concrete? Uh, I prefer rigid and concrete. Okay. I need to have a base of logic, otherwise I'd go insane. Okay. Just a basic logic. Okay. Okay, that actually, yeah. Um, look up one last thing, and then I'll have like two more. Mm -hmm. One second. Okay, are you good at like fixing like like are you good with your hands and are you good with like fixing things in any sort of experience where something's broken you've had to repair it? Uh yeah, I can I consider myself uh pretty good at fixing things. Okay. Uh and like what are so like, can you give me like one quick example of something you've done with this? Just to kind of legitimize that you actually are good at it. Mm -hmm. Uh, my bike broke down because uh, that one of the gears, like the the chain, was loose. So yeah. I just uh, at first I didn't know what to do with it. I just stared at it like a confused monkey, and then I just uh, plop I plop the chain back into the gears. Okay. And, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. We got that, that. Okay, so we got two more questions, and these have not that much bearing on your type, but I would like to ask just for kind of wrap up, and I ask everybody this: um, mm -hmm. What would at the end of the session, and based on just your opinions on prior interactions with me, 
what what do you think about me more or less like just like do you like me do you not like me or just kind of in the middle and like what what who do you think i am as a person like just try, just give like a paragraph describing me i guess let's see uh, uh like a pretty uh laid back uh person that is also pretty sociable you also seem to have like a some pretty strong beliefs. Uh, I mean, from at least the conversations I've seen in general chat, the server it's about socionics. Uh -huh. uh, you seem pretty rational. I don't see you making like decisions or like uh, saying things that have no logic or reasoning behind it but you also give me you also seem like the kind of person that would probably do uh some irrational things but for fun uh but you, you overall seem like a pretty cool person yeah actually i think i actually yeah. am gonna pro because holy shit this might actually figure it out and i'm so sorry i didn't do this already but just to make it most accurate i'm very excited because just in your answer of that it made me think of this and i'm really happy <laughs> uh -huh. oh yeah okay so you can keep going if you'd like and i'll type down everything you say but this act this one act might actually just kill one of them or y you get it mm, nice say um you <laughs> uh the reason why i think that you're just so chill and laid back is because like i i think it's one of the first times i was in a voice chat with you i just saw you just outside and you were just on camera like smoking a cigarette and moving around <laughs> and just chilling there yeah and that was pretty cool <laughs> that was pretty cool <laughs> uh, okay. You also seem very welcoming And you respect other people yeah, Like, of course. you know How the voice chat gets really rowdy mm -hmm. Yeah And uh, you would tell People to like. I, I observed it like once Because I'm not really in voice chat a lot But I saw you Tell someone to like stop talking And just to let the other person Continue because oh, yeah. they were being Constantly, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is a massive pet peeve of mine. So you have no idea. Oh no, I agree. <laughs> oh, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much. I think I'm almost for certain what I what I think your type is. But I'm gonna play a little <laughs> game with you. I'm gonna actually send you a description of one thing as opposed to the others, and um, no. I'm gonna let you read it. And often I don't normally do this because then people get a little crazy about like the uh, what you call it. Um, you know, the legitimacy, I, I'm not really gonna, you're not gonna read this, and frankly, whatever you tell me right now is not gonna change my mind, I even probably write it down to my thing, but just, just for more so that you can kind of have a nuanced understanding of this. I'm gonna, what right. I'm gonna do is in voice channel, or voice, oh goodness, VC text, I'm gonna, right. gonna send this, and I'm going to tag you, okay? So I'm gonna tag All you right. in this, okay? And next, mm -hmm. I'm going to send another one. So you can already be reading this right now, and I would prefer for you to do that. Yeah, I already started before you said that. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's copy and paste this one as well. So think of these as directly being like, you know, you're either this or this. And I'll just tag you once more for cons consistency. And then after this, I'll have one last question for you, Starry, okay? Gotcha. Right. <laughs> By the way, I see you did pop in now, Alexander. What's up? I am re uh, recording, so but it's almost done. So we can all hang out. And I guess while you're reading, if you can tune me out, uh, sorry. Everybody that's watching, the session is almost over. We'll get her type. And then everybody, please feel free to go to the link down below. Um, join our Discord, Monsoon. We do a ton of stuff in here, more by the day. 
um, like and subscribe and share please and lastly I created a patreon last night if you would like to donate to any of my efforts or experience any of the exclusive content uh, that is going to be explained and displayed on said uh, platform it would just be ten dollars a month uh, and I'll probably be doing various tiers some cheaper maybe five dollars for certain things maybe 15 or 20 for other things so yeah anyway starry where are you at I'm honestly still stuck on the first one because there are some words I don't understand. Oh, you're totally fine, and I can help you understand if need be. And you do have to keep in mind, I think some of these are translated from Russian, so they might, uh, they might I see. be a little weird, too, if it's grammatical errors, but... Uh, what language... You said uh, that you're You said that you're not, you know, you're foreign. Do you, do you mind disclosing what language you speak natively? Or if you don't want to, that's totally fine. I was just curious. Oh, um, initially I spoke Japanese. Oh, that was neat. Wow. Yeah, but, uh, I lost my mother tongue over the years because I was, like, country hop in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. Holy, I think you're legitimately the first person. So you, you like, you're, you're like Japanese in essence? <laughs> like, you, you speak, yeah. okay. That's just cool because I legitimately, I've, you know, I've met people that could speak Japanese or, like, had learned it, but you were like legit can speak Japanese because you were <laughs> that's cool yeah. um it, it this sounds kind of strange but I feel like the type you're gonna get to is something more or less I would associate with kind of like I don't know Japanese in general <laughs> it's more of like a uh -huh. you, so okay you read your thing and then I'll explain what your thing is alrighty uh what's inertia inertia sure Inertia, I, I believe, is kind of like something, like the going or stopping of something. So inertia, uh, like if something were to roll, I think if something were to roll, like let's say you are to take a tire or a wheel, uh, just have it go, I think inertia is exact like the scientific property that explains like what, uh. it, either the, wh it is or is not going or what makes it not go or go something like that so in this sense it's not being scientific it's just saying like ah going or not you know mm, i say yeah so okay Past experiences, lots of these things. Eh, I need to break out of this if you require it. Eh, I need to break out of the employers and so some of this is my range. It's interesting in this experience, but I'll stay up to the end of He is additionally very indecisive. He may like the ability to make important decisions. Eh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Especially with regards to his own future. Nah, he may know what he wants to achieve on life overall, but we'll find a very different way to part of saying to it. Or if it's going to be able to act in this challenge, we'll definitely see it's just a work on the next one. Hmm. He's just a guy who's worth inviting him to push for rewards and help us out for the next one. Conclusions, but it becomes fierce and unbending for brief periods of time if they are inevitable. It's not resonate with the idea of overcoming challenges or being able to trust to us to material desires and trickles on psychical, physical, and emotional self. Yeah, it's a demand or call for I see that thumbs up emoji. Oh shit, fights. I didn't mean to put that, my bad. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I I relate to the latter more than the first. Okay, so the the one this one right here, the one I put a heart on. Yeah. Okay, I was actually a little dishonest with you earlier. I was thumbing that up to say that before you read that, I actually did think that's the one you were going to be. And I did hear you say the first <laughs> one, you're like, no, that's not me. So everything legitimately ties together. That is the description that coincides with one of the information elements and a function with the one that I thought you were for pretty much the last mm -hmm. like 10 minutes. So that's awesome. That really kind of cleans it up too. Um, I'll ask you one last question. Um, Mm -hmm. Let's see, if you did have to get a tattoo ever, what would the tattoo be of? It can either be like one word, or it can be like one oh. you know, photo or symbol. I've actually been planning to get a a snake or a dragon tattoo wrapped around my arm. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah. Dragon or snake tattoo around your arm. Cool, it's kind of like the server theme, the snakes and the dragons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Um real quick, just I won't write it down, but why that? I'm curious. Uh a friend of mine told me a snake suits me because of uh how I may seem to be. Like I could she told me that I could be quite cunning uh -huh. and I could be quite uh like a literal snake when it comes to uh when i need to get the things i need to get for example like when it comes to business yeah i might cut a few corners with somebody yeah uh, and uh she also said that my eyes i don't know <laughs> no, that is no, that's <laughs> <what I'm doing>. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like, why are you a snake? And you're like, your eyes. I'm like, good god. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, you ready to hear your type? Yeah. Alright, do you know anything about the types, first of all, other than the MBTI? Do you know any Socionics types? Uh, I went over the Socionics website, and I read over all the descriptions quickly. You oh, you left. You're, you're fine. You're back now. Hello? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You hear it said you left for a second. I don't know if it just glitched, but I saw that. That was weird. But yeah, you said you railed the descriptions. I said of course you did. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, I just know the very uh, basics of them, but I of course do not remember which description belongs to which yeah. letters. You uh oh. <sighs> sorry. Do you yes. have any sort of inclination as to which type I'm gonna give you? Uh, I actually have no idea. I mean, what's the type? And just... Yeah, okay. I'm... Well, I'll, yeah. Give, I'll give you the type if you want to know, or if you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. All right. Shoot. I think that you are the SLI, personally. SLI? Yep. Interesting. It was SLI and ILI. We're both the, the last ones because I think I saw yeah, Fe Polar with you just based on your answers and just kind of your general your your answers and the way that you're saying them. Fe Polar in <laughs> essence just means that like in regards to kind of like your conversational influence, you are not as like this would be your weakest thing. So this just means that you kind of are more of you very quiet. You know, this isn't to say mm -hmm. that what you say isn't valuable, but this is just simply saying that the way in which you convey it is not very overt. So you're just not, yeah. you're not saying it loudly. You know, even when I'm, we're kind of talking at the same time, you sound like you're somebody that just straight up just, see, I do something different. If somebody like is talking at the same time as me, I just shut up immediately because I'm like, one of us needs to start talking first. It's like if two mm -hmm. cars are to wreck into each other, almost wreck into each other, I'm the first person to slam on the blank brake. But I feel like you kind of are just like mm -hmm. Effie, maybe a little confusing to you because you're kind of like, oh, okay. so stuff like that. Um, but Let's, that's the one thing you do the weakest we could talk about the things you do the strongest if you'd like um do, do you want do you want to watch the stream and I could say why I think you're this type real quick yeah okay 
So let's see, let me get this nice and good because I might be able to actually convey this to our viewers as well if I can stream this properly. Um, let me make mm. sure everything's good on here. Yeah. All right, so one quick second. Um, I want you to tune to the stream, okay? All right. And Alexander, of course, nope. if you're here and want to do that, please feel free. Um, so yeah, first and foremost, um, if you walk, well, I'll kind of do it here so the viewers can see as well. So if you see where my cursor is right now, the one, the one that's always going to be on the left, seemingly because it's duplicated. Mm -hmm. um, or it's going to be hard for you because I can only see on my thing, but just bear with me. You seem like a smart girl. The um, S oh. S I essentially is the thing you do best. So do you have any idea what S I is? Uh, S I would be like. I guess taking uh, information, but how you perceive it, then like in contrast to SC, you see what's in the environment around you and that's okay. what it is. Yeah. Pr I mean, yeah. in an essence, yeah. And that's just one, yeah. uh, that's, that is a hundred percent correct, but that's not like the only thing about it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm aware. So yeah, it's that, that is more like the mental aspect of like what you retain and blah, 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 mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think just, you know, if people have a lot of both of those, it's like, you know, you're just kind of a sensor or whatever, but, um, yeah. it's really, you know, that's why I asked some of the questions about like the bike or not even the bike. I said, are you good at fixing stuff? And you're basically like, yeah, this thing went terribly wrong. I just kind of fixed it easily after it all was crazy. Um, and then mm -hmm. to just, just the means of like how you describe everything. I feel like you, it, just the fact you seem to have like, honestly, just, just for sake of us, you know me getting to know you because you seem pretty cool the um you seem to have a very interesting relationship with music as well you know i think you, you i remember we've talked about it and i can't say that for certain because you know i don't know if you have an interesting relationship but just the type of music you like and all that stuff i feel like you have some sort of connection with it and i feel like that could be an indicator of at least a strength of si also a value um it's tricky it's really tricky because then at that point I'm like, okay, then there's the other thing of it where it's like the comfort that you would want to experience. Mm -hmm. And I think that at, at that point, that's one of the only things that could lead me to believe like, okay, maybe you are not an SI valuer, the ILI, um, which again, mm -hmm. was, that would show in, a, it's, that's why these are a little similar. This so was like, hmm, at the end, this is very hard. Cause if you see when I'm switching between these, almost nothing yeah. changes except for like the SE N I and then the uh, it's like yeah S E N I and then the N E S I. It pretty much seems mm. to be the only thing that changes here. So it's just like which one is coming first. Um, and for me personally, I think just the fact that these two again, I have I have a document that kind of more mm. or less shows like what's going on. I'll show you if you're still watching the thing, right? Yeah, I'm I'm still on it. Okay. Wonderful. So essentially, okay, we got this. Or excuse me, F I T E. These are not the one. Okay, these ones. This one essentially, if you were ILI, this would be kind of like what's going on with the uh, your base, and then the suggestive, like so your base mm -hmm. and dual seeking function, and that's kind of what's cool too. You can look at how the types relate with each other. This is essentially what I'm saying with your type is like this is the one most at play with the judicious axis mm -hmm. so um yeah let's read it through real quick any perceives the potential of ideas and si acts as the harmonizing of those ideas si provides the environment and mental space to comfortably explore ideas whereas any provides just the exploration so they both work in tandem with you whenever they're in play to just kind of make things work and this one says any ni perceives the causality of events and se acts the cause uh, se provides the volition to actualize an event or set of events whereas ni provides the vision slash narrative now with this personally i saw some traits of se with you and again like look at your um what should we call it this is the the document i made on you as you can see and i will gladly provide this to you i'll uh mm -hmm. actually do it like this okay and then copy link 
Wonderful. So now as soon as I'm done with this, we're done with the session, I'll send it to you. But yeah, I mean the one where you were like talking about throwing a rock at somebody, all this stuff. Um, let's see. I think it was the one where I said conflict. Uh, you can uh, control F and then just write down the word. Yeah. You find it. You're so smart. Okay, yeah, because I kind of, it, and this isn't the exact way I asked it, because I didn't say, how would you react if someone was bullied? When, remember, I was like, if somebody else was in a similar situation, but it's just easier to say mm -hmm. it like this. So I said, how are you, like, in conflict? You didn't really seem like this would be a big, like, it, it would be a big deal, and that's kind of with this, it's showing that your SE wouldn't be, like, low dimensionality, it just wouldn't be that valued, because you were just kind of like, yeah, I would throw the rock back at them, flip them off, so you showed the propensity to be SE. That's why you kind of, at one point, eliminated this one. That's why I was asking you this one. I was like, let's make sure it's not this. Because this type maybe would, <laughs> I mean, not to be hyperbolic, but might get a rock thrown at them and just, like, sit and cry and, and feel like they deserved it. And, like, like, basically just not stick up for themselves. And you seem like you can do that. Um, but let's go back to the document thing real quick. Um, this is essentially, uh, yeah, this, this is going to be the one at play for you, I truly feel. This one, mm -hmm. rather than this, that would make it a, probably a lot bigger of a deal that this rock got thrown at them than this. That's just kind of like whatever. I'd ra rather do more important stuff that makes me happy. So nice. Yeah. So does that all make sense to you? Me, I'm just reading over the difference between that uh, and I any. Yeah, but did you want me to go back? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll go back to it. No, no problem. Man. And really, if you'd like me to share this with you as well, I could do that at some point as well. Um, yeah, that'd actually be pretty handy. Yeah, because essentially this is just stuff that me and a friend of mine, we created together. And uh, it's simply, wow. it simply just, you know, see, even with you, we can do this with you. These are, mis my my friend basically did this because I didn't know socionics as well at the time, so I wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> but she, uh, and I'll give her credit in the description below if she would like to be credited for this as well. But um, yeah, these are <laughs> misconceptions. So let's say, for instance, you were typed SLI and you didn't really like it. These are like, but I'm a perceiver. How could I blah, 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 blah. It's um, again, and this is another thing with you. I said I can even sh probably let's I see this. I'm so sorry. Let me get this girl's fucking thing out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> not showing YouTube. But um, yeah, essentially, let me do the trick you told me. Uh, mm -hmm. what was it? Good God. Chrissy, oh, rational, irrational, oh, irrational. Yeah, okay. See, you were talking about the openness of perspective and that you hate when people are closed-minded and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We did ask about, like, you did say you're rigid later, so that was kind of weird, but I was just like, whatever, just some any not super-duper high shit or any uh, suggestive, I think. But the, um, mm -hmm. yeah, with this, I mean, basically the openness to all, all sorts of things has gone more along, more coincide with like, uh, irrationality. And all this means is the SI in the, or the, uh, sensing information elements such as SI and SE are going to be irrational as well as the intuitive ones, NI and NE, and then vice versa for the, uh, rational ones, the logic, which is TI and TE, and... Uh, mm -hmm. ethical which is fe and fi so you just this for you to be a irrational or perceiving is going to just mean that you lead with one of the perceiving elements you know um so right. again we can go back to the little thing i'm a perceiver you know my friend wrote sli leads with a perceiving information element si which leads to common perceiver traits such as flexibility spontaneity uh and frequent changing of one's decisions so I think you do seem like a pretty like creative person more or less like just you seem to enjoy fictional stuff maybe. So I'm going to actually show you something you might find kind of cool. Good god. Um, <laughs> cool. Oh. <laughs> I can't Don't worry. No, uh, I fun. didn't see anything. No, it's nothing to be hidden. This is simple. I'll show everybody. This is uh it gave me a PDB page that I did not have anything to do with. I don't know if I had an auto bio. But it's this, I, this is fine, because I, I don't ever use PDB to post anything, but I have this, like, stupid-looking profile picture. 
<laughs> that I don't know what to do, and it does not represent me. Again, this is... I, I'll, I'll plug myself in this, too. This is the actual one that people made for me. <laughs> so oh, got, oh, oh, my God, I have 59 votes. Good God. Damn, dude. I did not know that that was... Okay, oh, look, we're getting... If you, hey, if you want to vote, you, anybody can vote. I might even do the link, but sorry, if you want to vote, too, you can say if you think I'm SEE or SLE or ESE. We have some... E, ooh, people are going to mm. make me into ESE. I love that. Um, but, yeah, so let me, I'm going to show you real quick just so we can have some fun with this before we head off. Um, SLI is the one you're gonna be so bottom up, right? Yeah. Good. See, and the, just the fact that you're so like, yeah, it's right there. It's kind of SLI. So it's a lot uh. of these these characters, people like, yeah, like Squidward, <laughs> SLI. That's kind of the okay. So he's kind of yeah, because he, he's probably not ILI because he doesn't really do the NI thing as much. But he's like a clarinet player that's like you know, kind mm -hmm. of. It, I I could see that you have. Kashi at saying from Naruto. And again, for everybody watching this, I'm not necessarily signing off on the, any of these characters or any of this stuff. Like, Shrek, me personally, I don't think he's SLI because I don't think he's F.E. Polar. I've seen this fucking movie. He's like cracking jokes and shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make this too long winded, but you see what I mean? It's kind of like, I don't know if you watch anime or not, but Shikamaru from Naruto. Uh, mm -hmm. th this guy. Definitely SLI. What like what type of like besides the Interstellar and stuff like that? Like you watch a television or? Uh, I know Guts. Saitama. Guts. Uh, what is that? It's uh when you scroll up. Oh sorry. No, no Maybe problem. Let me go. I scroll down. This yeah. Berserk. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you like Berserk? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Traumatizing, but good. Yeah, so this is like your type, essentially. So, nice. me per like, if you want to see how it, like, translates to me, for instance, just for example, like, I I'm always, like, looking at different types, so I don't truly know. <laughs> it's, it's, for me yeah. personally, I think it's between, like, these three. I think it would be either, like, the SLE, it's gonna be, like, these characters, which I think makes a lot of sense when I really, like, when it's all said and done. Because <laughs> um, I really do like SEE a lot. It's like, I think it's the best type. Because these people, again, they have TI Polar, but that means they have no need to be structured. So it's like, like, like I don't mm -hmm. know if you're familiar with Star Wars at all, but like, come on, Anakin Skywalker. These people are just, SEEs yeah. are like, it, it's cool, because they kind of just do, and they're, they don't give a fuck, even if it doesn't make any sense. SLE is the type I personally think I am, though, just because I know the way I am. And I don't think I could be yeah. TI Polar. Not because I don't want to be. I, I truly would rather be SEE. But TI Polar, just often people called me a dumbass when I self typed as it. Because they were like, there's no way that he's TI Polar. He's too, like, fucking. Well, blah, 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 Like, go yeah. full on math mode, I guess. But some of these characters are, like, yeah. I mean. <sighs> kind of when I really get into, like, my planning mode, I could see, like, a little bit of an Azula in myself i think a little bit of these more psychotic right. ones aren't necessarily myself but i could see sort of the yeah. Voldemort thing because all beta quad it, do you know anything about the quadras story uh nope okay well with the quadras it's essentially just uh i don't know it's a thing where they value different stuff so if you want to see how this actualizes the one that i typed you as versus the other one you can see it this mm -hmm. is kind of the math behind it so it's conscious valued or these top ones so it goes valued, nice. not valued, valued, not valued. It's just, you know, like binary. One, zero, uh. one, zero. Um, and then also, it's the, there's a pattern for dimensionality too. And dimensionality just means strength. So NI up yes. here is going to be 4D. And just do a, diag a diagonal as far down as it is far up. So essentially, if you start here and you go doop, doop, it's going to go doop, mm -hmm. doop right there. That is uh -huh. going to be the four dimensionality. So four, 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 four. This is the strongest one right here. And this is the strongest one right here. So they're the same strength, but this one is essentially more correlated with this type. The NI with this type than something like this, because this one is valued and strong. So it's valued in 4D. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. 
So then you have uh, this one right here. Let's actually go to your type so we don't get you confused. So this one is, mm -hmm. again, valued, unvalued, but 4D yeah. as well as 4D. And then this one is 3D. 3D. And that's, yeah. And then you know you know the difference though, right? So what would this one be different from this one with what is TE? TE. Uh, I read somewhere that TE would rather base like uh, make their logic yeah. on uh, external sources rather than like TI would uh, make up their own logic in their head. See, what's interesting is I I'm gonna say something. Real quick, but what I did mean by that is like, do you do realize that this, if this is 4D valued, 4D unvalued, this is going to be 3D valued and 3D unvalued. Like that makes sense to you. It's just kind of like an X. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. making sure you understood that. But even the very fact that the way that you've always described any of the information elements to me is very much a process of like, you, you do like seeing the sort of, I don't know, pattern in it, I guess. Yeah. Like it seems like you like seeing like well if it's the internal one they're going to be taking it sort of in and then the external it's like the motion with this is very important with you and i think that's cool i think that i like i like talking with people about this stuff that see it in that way because it's very you know sometimes i'm the way in which i converse just is too much for people i get long-winded all that mm -hmm. stuff but often if i can just kind of do like what i did with you just say like this is this and this is this and then in your head you're like this is the going in and the going out it's the very much in and out mentality yeah. it's like totally si that's actually what i was thinking <laughs> yeah so that's awesome and then lastly you know we can see that these ones are going to be i'll actually i'll yeah. play with you these ones what do you think they're going to be if you want to do the, the, be the second yeah so 2d and then why is this one different from this one uh and i well I don't think I remember much about and I uh, you, like you don't uh, have to explain what it means necessarily to me if you don't want but more so like mm -hmm. why is the if these are both 2d then like just just like based on kind of like this stuff over here why mm -hmm. is this one different than this one exactly kind of how that like this one is valued this one is unvalued but they're both 4d so like just quickly, like what are these in difference I guess uh, the difference is that FI is more like internal feeling, how you feel. NI is more like what you think would be right. What you, uh, yeah. yeah, what you think would be right. Yeah, you, you're right on that, more or less. But I just, I, what I was trying to get you to say or see is just this this one right here is valued. Mm -hmm. Or is not valued, oh. excuse me. And this one is and valued. That's, yeah. Just because that's the easiest way to learn this. And I think if you're... Somebody that likes to kind of like piece things together and stuff like this. Oh. You're going to learn this stuff so much quicker if you don't think of like, well, it, wait, which one is in which order? If you literally just view it like it's kind of a like a puzzle, like it's this is 4D, 4D, valued, unvalued, 3D, 3D. Right. And you can. What's cool is you can literally use the key if you forget. You you can just be ah, oh, which one's valued, and then just go over here. Just remember the dimensionality first. It's just four, mm. three. And then wait, four, three, and then two, one. And you can yeah. think one is always you can start by one because it's vulnerable. Sounds like it's very weak, and that's what this is. This is mm -hmm. the polar. So you can say one, and then two, and then three. And then if you forget where the the starting point is, just always be like the first one is the one you start with. So you do that, and then you find out the yeah. values, and you can literally just do this like math. And I'm like, I ask you a question about your SI. And I'm like, hmm, does she, is she doing SI where it's like a, uh, I don't know, it's strong and it seems valued, like in the SLI, which you get, you know, strong, because mm -hmm. also you divide it in two, 4D and 3D, you can say strong, 2D and 1D are like weak, if you want to, I just like mathematically That's simplifying true. all of it and it's so much easier. Yeah, um, I just, it, uh, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Uh, I was just gonna say that, like, yeah, because then when you do that stuff, you can really mm -hmm. go through. And I'll kind of, I'll stop monologuing. I don't want to bore you, but um. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty interested in this subject, so yeah. I don't really get bored. I appreciate that. Honestly, what I really we could do in a second is I could just uh, sign off on this video, and uh, yeah, you know, we could talk about more. I'd l I'd love to talk about this all day, quite frankly, or just. Yeah, actually.
You, you said you would like that? That'd be pretty cool. I would love that too. But yeah, just real quick so we can kind of get the video out of the way. Look at this. And let's actually keep it congruent. We'll go to your type. Um, SLI. So then when you learn what where this is exactly and if you want to like type people or think about other people's type you just be like take mm -hmm. si simply you know take like the this and ask like si questions you know i think after the video i might legitimately just show you some of my typing questions and be like you could probe for this but we do mm -hmm. have kind of the imes like this explains how we define like each one of these mm -hmm. so you know you could let's say i want let's say you want to come up with your own questions and type people yourself you could just do something like this, like ask them a question that probes for what what's going on with their cause, like how they perceive time or vision, the negative possibilities, like thinking about what could go wrong. You just turn that into a question and then you then whatever their answer to the question, you gauge what's that's going to show with the information element. Yeah. And then once you have that gauged, all you got to do is then go on this and form your own see that these are gonna say if this like let's do specifically si just to again keep it nice and easy and congruent because that's simplifying the stuff is so important you see si is right here right and then we're looking up introverted sensing which is just si i could teach you all these at some point and i could teach anybody that wants to come that's watching in my server we could all learn together <laughs> um yeah so again we could see this with you and that these the other one was se i think i sent which is going to be in different places but si we just if you want to uh, type somebody you would say si is if this is more like them and come up with your own i like personally less than just defining these and being like okay this is how i'm gonna find everything just simply omit that and look up the definition like the introvert sensing like read this whole entire thing and understand it very well the most abstract and like apply to anything ways you can and then mm -hmm. you do your question and then whatever they say just figure out one if it seems strong or weak which i personally don't like doing that much um and i'm sorry that, it, that i guess everybody on the stream couldn't see the thing i actually have a quick ms paint thing if you would be okay with me uh, showing you real quick it is a yep. it is it might freak you out in regards to how the typing look my typing methodology for actually like interrogating slash questionnairing people i guess mm -hmm. nah, <laughs> but i think you I might like... enjoy it it's, it's it's a little quirky but um quirky yeah you'll see nah, I don't like... okay so essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch the window and i'm going to put you over to ms paint so essentially when I'm actually, because I'm going to close out the video right now, if any of y'all would like to see an exact picture of my typing methodology, just my chart, it looks quite crazy. Um, it's, it's a little weird. If y'all would like to see this, I'm probably going to put it on my exclusive Patreon page. So if y'all would like to see this for yourself, and y'all literally one person can pay and show everybody and I'll be fucked over. So I'm giving y'all that idea. But if y'all would just like to be nice, don't do that. Anyway, I'm putting it there and I'm cutting off the video so I don't want y'all to see it. And it'll give y'all incentive to actually go on there. So I appreciate all of y'all watching. And most importantly, I appreciate uh, Star joining me and doing this thing and and really just want, seeming to want to learn infinitely. That's that's a wonderful thing. So thank you, Starry. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yep. All right. Goodbye, everybody.